Durables may have seen an uptick in sales closer to Diwali. It seems that many global luxury brands have missed the bus. Shivani Bazaars finds out that while many luxury brands fail to excite the top-end Indian consumer with their offerings, for allegedly lacking cultural relevance, a few did manage to hit the right chord. Take a look. The festive season is usually the best time for retail businesses and this year the sale of premium and luxury goods are leading the way in sales. But why are some global luxury giants missing the mark when it comes to Indian consumers? As India's luxury market surges, global brands are increasingly launching festive collections to appeal to the Indian consumer. But despite the hype, these collections often fall flat with netizens critiquing them for missing the mark on cultural sensitivity. Case in point, Christian Louboutin's Diwali capsule collection, which faced backlash for its dated style and lack of connection with India's rich ethnic heritage. While brands like Bulgari and Todd's have found more success by tapping into meaningful Indian culture elements, many international labels seem to misinterpret what resonates with India's top-tier consumers. Christian Louboutin's Diwali Collection Shoes with traditional Indian prints and motifs with bright colours like fuchsia, rose, yellow and gold. But the luxury brand failed to excite the Indian customer. Customers took to social media to call the designs tacky, very NRI-ish, a school project using waste materials and some even claimed they can get better stuff in old Delhi's markets. Global brand is very, very interested in India. Now, when you talk to the top-end Indian, it's extremely important to get ethnic, get local, etc. But many brands do not understand and they do not contextualize. You know, India, the land of snake charmers, uh, where cows and buffaloes are, uh, you know, swarming on the streets, etc, uh, etc. Et this kind of a story. The great Indian rope trick. Uh, now, much of this finds its way into design. On the other hand, brands which have taken time to understand cultural sensitivities and the preferences of a well-travelled, fashion-conscious Indian customer have done better. Bulgari's recent Mangal Sutra collection, for instance, has been praised for its minimalistic yet deeply symbolic design. Italian brand Todd's collaboration with Indian designer Rahul Mishra brought an authentic touch to its India-inspired line, highlighting the right recipe for success. There's this new collaboration with uh, Rahul Mishra and Todd's, which is beautiful. The consumer is very uh, intelligent and very smart now. They're not just going with the brand name, you have to give them more. Uh, they want value for money. For luxury brands eyeing India, understanding its vast culture and diversity is key. While the country's top end customers are drawn to global luxury brands, they also expect cultural relevance, quality, and value for money. As India's influence in the global luxury market grows, one thing is clear. Brands that can adapt and celebrate India's unique heritage are the ones that will ultimately win customer loyalty. In New Delhi, this is Shivani Bazaars.